Hey everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel Design with Pramod. Let's do designing together. In today's session, let's try to master creating components. And I'll train you guys how we can create and master the component into our new Figma UI. All right, guys, without a delay, let's get started. What did we do here? We actually created the button component, which actually has three variables. If I activate this right, and if we go right to this, design section under this size properties you can see right there are three different sizes of that button button small button medium button large if i click on this one you see button size is changing here if i click on this large button the button is changing to large that is how our size variables are covered in this one if i explain you this label edit property right so what are we doing here we are actually clicking on this button from here only you can actually change the label of that button this is the instance of your parent component button but from here only you can actually change your button text let's try to change that button text to button sm that is our button small that is about our label property let's try to understand instance swapping so this instance swapping is something where you can actually change the icon from one place only you have three different icons here from add button that is our current instance what we have and let's swap that to share icon that could be our share button all right and that is about instance swapping let's see what this icon boolean or text boolean does all right in this case if i click on this button right where i have uh, enabled this toggle on that is actually showing me the icon not the text if i enable this toggle on right that is like that is enabling me the text here you see the difference and now let's go to the text boolean where what i'm doing here i'm actually having only text here and if you see here the vice versa condition of the icon where i'm hiding my icon if i enable that icon you see that is actually showing me the icon from here only i can hide the label and you see the only icon is coming here all right that is about boolean property i think you guys understood the basic of what these properties we defined against this parent component called button without a delay let's get started with designing our component all right now let's start creating component so i have created this page here and that is button sample so what i'll do i'll start with my text by clicking on t for my keyboard i am enabling my text or by clicking on this icon here you can also enable your text right now our text is there i'll try to add button text and by clicking on shift a from my keyboard i am enabling auto layout to that button and that actually added me the auto layout and this section came to me where this is a auto layout enabled button let's try to fill this with some gradient color all right and i'll click on this button i will get this fill option here so i'll click on that and i get this white filled by default and what i'll do i'll click on this gradient icon and it actually gives me two different hexadecimal codes as a stops so what i'll do i'll try to add some color to this side all right and that color will be around this type of blue and let me drag this manually this is our color and let me add something different here and that is my color and let me reduce that to yeah now we have gradient field button and i would like to add some border radius to six pixels that is a small button and let's go and duplicate this one and let's add some padding to 40 pixel and that is our button medium all right and let's try to duplicate it again and let's try to add 60 pixel padding to this button that will be our large button let's rename this button to button large all right and now what i'll do i'll try to create this as a component all right and by clicking on this one you can create the component but i want to create it as a component set where 
these three will be created different component under that set so that is our component set all right button small button medium button large now let's rename this to button comp all right that is our button component which and let's try to have one of its instance by going from this asset section and let's try to search that button this is our button component here you see so what we did here we actually created three different variants of this button that is our variant under this property section if you see right that actually created by default property to property one and i would like to rename this property to size because we are actually having three different variants here the size variants i would say this is small variant this is medium variant and this is large variant so what i will do we'll try to take this instance and see all these renamings happen now let's try to add label property so by clicking on this text from here i don't see any label property there right now under this component section what we'll do we'll try to click on this text beside to text there is one icon coming here to add one more property and let's try to add this as a label property you see under this one we'll click on this as a label property so now that label property is added to this small button you see there is a label property from here only we can rename this button to button small now uh, you see that actually updated our text here to button small so let's try to add the same to these two button sizes this is my label property to this medium button and i will enable the same label property to my large button too you see now you have this button small now you can change the name to this instance to button large you see that is actually updating now let's try to create instance swap property to add that instance swap property what i have done i have created this icon section under that icon section i have three icons make sure that those three icons are components and what we'll do under that button we'll take the instance of those components icon components and we'll try to drag and drop there and then we'll try to apply the instance swap property there right so we'll go here to this icons we'll go back to button sample what we are working on and let's try to search add now our add icon is coming here and let's try to drag and drop under small button that is the add small button now we have one more icon right that is share icon and what we'll do we'll try to add that share icon under medium button and the same way we'll add upload button it actually has the auto layout enabled all right and now we have added three icons under three variants now if i click on this one there is no icon swap property enabled here so for that we'll go again to this button component and we'll click on this icon and we'll add you see under this add uh, to this add component uh, this icon is coming here because this add icon is a component so what we'll do we'll try to click on this one to add that instance swap property you see the value is coming as a add and it has three icons under that one all right we'll close that and we'll try to name this as a icon because in future i want to change that icon to different now here if you see here right this is a medium button what we have but if i change this to small button it should have icon instance swap property and under this one i can change to any icon from one icon to another icon so that is instance popping let's apply the same property to all different variants all right so i'll go here and i'll click on this icon and so this is my icon instance swap property i'll click on this one you see that actually added me the instance swap property to this icon too and and even here that icon is changing from share to add and i'll do the same for this large button too uh, let's take an example 
and try to understand how we neatly apply that instance swap properties. In one case, we have this small button and in other case, we have this medium button and in one more case, we have this as a large button. All right. And we have three different icons here, but I don't want to have the same icon in this one. I want to have this as a share button and I want to have this as a upload button or add button. You see the large button is changed to add icon. The medium button is changed to share icon. The small button is changing to upload icon. You see, this is the beauty of instant swapping guys. Let me take a small pause here. I would ask you guys to subscribe my channel and like my videos. If you are liking my content, I'll be bringing more and more interesting content for you guys. Now let's go and try to create the boolean property. Let's try to create the boolean property first and after that we'll try to understand how that boolean property works and what is the beauty of that boolean property. All right. So now let's go here to this appearance section. You have this icon to add your Boolean property. So right now there is no Boolean property added to this icon. So what we'll do, we'll try to add this Boolean property. If you see in this little pop up right, you have this toggle below that is actually a Boolean property. So now I'll rename that Boolean property to show icon. And that is my Boolean property added here. All right and now let's add the same boolean property to this button variant too and let me add to this too so now what it does let's go to this button and or this button or this button if you observe here in the right side right you have this show icon boolean property if i disable that icon right the icon is going from this button too and let's try to have boolean property on this text too because in some cases i want to see only icon so what i'll do i'll go to the appearance section again and i'll try to apply the boolean property to this text show text all right and i will apply the same boolean property to this medium button too i'll click on this icon again and i'll click on this boolean property what we have created and I'll click on this text. I'll apply the same to this button too. If I if I click on this button, you see, this is a button component what we have here and its size is small and the label property is also added, button small and I can do the icon swapping here only. And now about the Boolean property, what it does, in some cases, we want to show only icon. And if I want to show only text, right? that boolean properties apply to this button all right guys we have successfully created our button component with five different properties under it that is like size property which actually manages the size of the button and the second property called label property from here only you can rename your button to small like this from this section only you can actually change to different icons like this the magic right and from here only you can actually show your icon or hide your icon or from here only you can actually show text or hide your text and from here only you can show your icon or hide your icon boom i hope you guys understood how to create the component all right and that is all about component creation guys thanks for staying till the end do like, share and subscribe to my channel and keep supporting. Thanks for watching.